What's up, money friends and the viewers of the tube? Today, we're going to be talking about bridging your tokens from Joystream to the base blockchain. So that's very exciting news that they're uh, proposed that they're going to do this. I'm not going to actually show you how to do it because it's just in the proposal phase, but this is exciting news because Joy is expanding their, I guess, reach to be able to connect with other blockchains. And it, Joy decided to bridge to the base. So, and if we head over to the base protocol or on DeFi Llama and look at the total locked value, uh, total value locked in these chains, you can see that base is, is gaining some popularity. I mean, Ethereum is obviously the biggest. Uh, we have then Tron, BSC, Solana, uh, Arbitrum, Blast, and then Base. I actually never heard of Blast. This is like the first, uh, I've been kind of just not looking too much at crypto, but if we look at Base, it is one of the largest for protocols. It has, let's, let's go. Yeah, so it is number seven for total value locked. I feel like it used to be a lot higher. I feel like it, it dropped some, or maybe it was, let me check. Let's check. Pulling it up. Maybe it just, oh, maybe I'm just totally wrong. So yeah, it is still, oh, maybe that's what it was. Maybe I just thought it hit a, a billion and I was like, oh, that's, that's great. And then it went up to almost 2 billion and I'm like, oh, it dropped. So there you go. Fees, 119,000 in fees that's paid. Um, if we look at Blast, Inflows, what is this? I should definitely check this out. Uh, Arbitrum, Insane in Fees, Solana, BSC, Tron, and Ethereum, and over 6.8 billion million in fees. So if you are on, obviously, the Ethereum network doing some yield farming, then you're making some sweet, sweet gains, if you have the money for it, obviously. Um, some of these smaller protocols will, will reward you quite handsomely, um, but as you can see, wow, that's insane. I mean, look at how much volume BSC has dropped. Anyways, let's get back into Joy because I think that is the whole point of this uh, video. Making it the first chain to connect with our ecosystem. So that's pretty exciting. And as you can see here, Joy is bridging the base making it the first chain. This is a historical decision, uh, supports from our console member and leads paving the way for a new era of intro, para, whatever. So very exciting news. Uh, I'm very excited about this because now I can uh, have a, another chain to, uh, to uh, an inexpensive chain to swap to. I don't need to take my crypto and move it to Maxi or an, uh, an exchange. I can just bridge it over to base and actually you know, use their protocols. I'm actually looking at a few ones, Aerodrome being one of them, um, which looks pretty sweet. They have some insane, uh, uh, what is the word I'm looking for? They have insane um, pools where you can earn some sweet, sweet rewards. So if I actually open up the liquidity and I go to stable, you can see that the, the APRs here for stable coins are absurd. Like 50%, 36, I mean, you have my and EUSD, you have USD plus and EUSD, you have, uh, what else, my USD, 30%, so pretty insane. Um, and you can just see the fees that are being produced. Uh, some of them are very, very low because of the volume, obviously, but uh, if it's, and because of the trading pool pairs. But if you're looking at something like uh, a volatile, vol uh, a volatile uh, asset, much higher. I mean, this one, basic volatility, USDC next swap and 2000 in fees. The highest being uh, 58,000 for USD and Aero versus uh, ONV and USDT versus concentrated fees, 246,000 
for wealth or wrapped ETH and USDC. So quite and wealth and Brett and wealth and arrow. So so many ways to make some sweet sweet gains. Definitely do your own research. But uh, they have some. Uh, you can definitely check out some of our other videos on how to do liquidity pools. They are pretty much all the same. Well, actually, there was a big shift between um, what was it? v2 and v3 in a lot of these swaps where previously it was more of just your money all, all money was in a pool and you're able to get fees based off how much you invested but now there's more um, concentrated liquidity and if your concentration of liquidity falls out of that range then you don't get any of those fees so it's a uh, it's a definitely a good way to earn some uh, free rewards especially if you're using like say USDC or USDT and stablecoin and staking them in stable pairs then you really you really just get free money um, because it's staking stable pairs obviously unless there's like a it's a an algorithmic stablecoin or something crazy happens then um, you obviously could get effed on that but besides that there's that that's all you have to really worry about the major thing what i love is yield farming because in joystream they don't have any yield farms all they have currently are um creator tokens um so really nothing to uh that you can yield farm with but aerodrome uh uniswap extra finance moonwell beefy all major um on major crypto uh dexes or um yield aggregators or lending uh, are all on the base and so you're able to bridge your tokens from joy to base and earn some sweet rewards and then buy back your creator token or if you want to be super fancy check this out you could essentially take your crypto, move it over to Moonwell, borrow against it, and then buy your favorite creator tokens because you know, at least you don't miss out on the, the increase in value from your, your major holdings and you can still borrow against and bridge back to uh, Joystream and then buy your creator tokens. So you're creating two, uh, you're transferring equity essentially and you're able to then uh, leverage both of those with economies of scale if you believe that both are gonna um, go up and then you have two um, asset classes that could potentially uh, grow with, over time and you're only having to worry about the debt so pretty sweet stuff anyways you guys let me know what you guys think are you guys going to base your uh, crypto from joy over to base and back or are you just going to keep your crypto on the joy stream and get my creator token which hashtag money down below or what is it dollar sign dollar i don't know what the dollar i think they call it a different thing but dollar sign money anyways guys remember to like and subscribe smash the like button ring that notification bell and i'll see you on the next one